Hello and welcome to this part 3 tutorial on pan following. In this tutorial I'm going to discuss pan following issues related to captions. Now captions have some unique considerations relative to layers that I'm going to address before going on into the modifiers. And uh, the first one of which is going to be positioning. Captions address the screen differently than do layers. Captions start their positioning information at the upper left corner of the screen with 100% of the screen being to the right and down from that corner. Layers, on the other hand, start their measurement from the screen center with 50% of the screen on any given side. Another thing that's different are, is this thing called alignment. Captions have an alignment feature that layers don't have. You have left, right, center, and full, whereas full is just a variation on the center. The thing about these captions is that if you have two captions with the exact same screen location but a different alignment, you could have two captions that appear to be offset from each other simply because of their alignment. So you can have a left aligned positioned right next to a right aligned, even though they have the same position, they're just abutted against each other. An alignment choice shifts the entire caption left or right based on what you've chosen. That doesn't change the center of the layer, it just changes the alignment. Now I have two captions here uh, which have two different uh, alignment settings. This one is aligned to the left and this one is aligned to the right. However, their rotation or their actual screen or actual caption center is unchanged, is still the center of the caption. Now ca uh, layers can adjust the rotation center or the center of the layer using the rotation set, uh, change feature so you can move that effective center location for the layer anywhere you want it. Not so with captions. Caption center is fixed. You cannot change it. It has no other counterpart with a uh, layer. Now I can change the caption adjustment or uh, caption alignment and you'll see that they're still rotating around the center of the caption. Now one final issue is that a caption can change its effective size simply by changing the typeface. Keep everything else exactly the same and the typeface is the only thing you change and you're going to change some uh, characteristics of that font simply because the typeface metrics are different. Notice that this bottom one here oh, these are the all these are four different fonts uh, in column format and in row format. Now this Com, uh, this caption right here is two-thirds of the width of the one for Arial. The other part is that uh, the size uh, that's assigned to the ascenders and descenders for each of the captions may be different. In the case of the ascenders, notice where this ascender is and where this ascender is, simply by changing the typeface. Knowing that may help you adjust some features that uh, captions have when you're actually using modifiers. Now Let's get on to the first set of modifiers. Okay now I have two captions. One that's going to act as the master caption and another one that's going to act as a subordinate caption. I have defined a path for the master caption that I want the subordinate caption to follow. So how am I going to do that? So we'll select the caption that we're going to have follow the other one. We're going to right click and add a modifier. We're going to do variable amount using and go down here until we find caption X position and we want to do caption 1. Now we're going to do the same thing for the Y axis or Y position. So we're going to go caption Y position for caption 1. 
we're not done yet. Even though we've added the modifier, the thing you need to realize is that when a caption follows another caption via a modifier, that the default caption position results in the following or subordinate caption being offset from the caption that it's following by 50% of the screen to the right and down. So, to get the uh, alignment proper, we have to set it to zero. Now, the subordinate caption's alignment point is aligned to the master caption's alignment point, and the uh, vertical center point is aligned to the master caption center point. So they're exactly equal now. Now we can go ahead and create an offset that we think will work, and that will work. So now it's just following. Now, um, let's change the master captions alignment. Let's make it here. And the result of that is this. Notice that the subordinate caption is still aligned horizontally to the alignment point of the master caption. So what we can do here is change its alignment and OK. Now let's add a offset. So this is what this looks good. OK. I'm going to add a graphic. And what I want the graphic to do is to follow the caption around. So first thing we need to do is assign the graphic to or the layer to the caption. So how do we do that? Just like we did for the caption, the subordinate caption. We do a right click, add modifier. We're going to ver use variable amount using. We're going to come down here to the caption X position and we're already default to caption 1. And we're going to do the same thing to the Y add a modifier, variable amount using, caption Y position, and we're already on caption 1, which is what we want. We're not done yet though, because of the peculiarities between, between uh, captions and layers, we are now 50% off, just like we were with the subordinate caption. Only this time, we have to adjust well, actually, it's, it's, it's basically the same thing, but uh, we're subtracting 50% off of the uh, uh, layer's position to get to align to the appropriate positions on the master caption. However, for a layer, since this default position is 0, 0, when we subtract 50, it's going to be a minus 50. We'll go over here, minus 50. Minus 50. Okay. Now I'm aligned. Anything other than minus 50 minus 50 in this particular case is going to represent an offset from the master caption position. Right now, the uh, layers vertical and horizontal positions are aligned with the captions alignment point and its vertical center. Let's try it the other way. How about if we have the caption follow the layer? So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to reset and I'm going to remove the modifiers. I'm going to set my positions. the path that I wanted to choose. Now let's go back to the master caption. Let's remove the path it was on. It 
it should now not have any position movement and it doesn't. Now let's have the caption follow the pan X of layer 1 and the pan Y of layer 1. Works good. Now the only difference here would be the fact that we need to find out uh, we can just we can just throw a number in but if you really wanted to know how much we had to adjust to make it just perfect what we can do is add a layer that is the same uh, aspect as the uh, aspect of the show and then adjust the uh, zoom of that layer until we get something that approximates the width of the uh, layer and in this case it looks like it's about 40 so the caption is roughly 40 percent uh, 40 percent wide from this from the center of the screen to this side here is 50 so 50 plus 40 is minus 90 the caption is only going to minus 75 so if we change this to minus 90 we should see the caption go off screen okay and that pretty much covers it for uh, this segment of uh, pan following thanks for watching let's go over what we've just covered in this pan following part three section captions address the screen differently than layers layers start at the screen center captions at the upper left corner layers have a non-fixed center point captions it's fixed can't change even though a caption may change its alignment it shifts the caption to the left or right and the center point follows with it caption height and width is determined by the typeface metrics and the typeface cha choice can result in a caption whose width and or height can change considerably simply by changing the typeface it's something to consider when you are um, doing your pan following with captions when you have a caption following something um, a caption following a caption will align the alignment point to the master caption alignment point and the vertical center is aligned to the master captions vertical center you're not aligning it to center to center you're aligning it to alignment point and vertical center when a caption is following a caption the subordinate captions pan values represent an offset from the caption that it's following therefore any value you enter into there represents an offset from the master caption. When you have a layer following a caption, it becomes subordinate to the caption that the layer does. The layer position should have a value of minus 50 minus 50 because any other value will represent an offset from the master caption. Finally, when you have a caption following a layer via a modifier, the caption becomes subordinate to the layer. Its default settings of 50-50 will align the alignment point to the lower layer's horizontal center and uh, the vertical center to the layer vertical center. Any other value other than 50-50 represents an offset from the layer that is following. And that concludes this tutorial on pan following part three. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.